Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant, and this is Taurus energy. So this is an energy of a high level commitment. This is an energy of spiritual lessons. Someone could feel a spiritual connection to you. There's an energy of someone wanting to be loyal to you, um, wanting to be more committed to you, or this person wanting to make it known to you that they are committed to you already. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Five of Swords, and this is Air energy. We have the tower in the reverse, Mars energy, and we have the page of cups, water energy. So with the five of swords showing up here and we have the tower, this could be someone where there has been some sort of conflict. Um, there's been some sort of, um, it's like you guys haven't been seeing eye to eye. And with the five of swords, this can show an energy of someone feeling defeated. They feel like this is a lose-lose situation and they are ready to surrender. Um, this person, they, they want to love you. There's this energy of wanting to, you know, move away from the conflict and rather they want to repair a connection with you um, and start over from a place of love. There's this energy of wanting to um, do away with the mind games or the, the conflicting energies. Um, the, with the tower being here and it's in the reverse, this does show an energy of a situation where things may have fallen apart. The connection wasn't as strong in the past. There's an energy of a weak connection or a weak relationship having really fallen apart. And with the tower being in the reverse, there's that desire to to rebuild this and to start on a, with a better foundation because you also have the higher fans. It's like this person, they've learned from the last time. There's this energy of they, they this tower or this fallout has really taught them a lot and there's this desire to rebuild but from experience now because there's some sort of lessons that they have learned um they want to do things differently this time um with the page of cups there's again that energy of wanting to start afresh um wanting to look at you through the eyes of love you know there's this desire to have a new beginning and to bring back innocence to the connection um, this person does believe that this is a connection that can actually be fixed. It can be rebuilt um, with time, of course, with patience, with this Hierophant energy. Um, there is also this energy of wanting to make sure that the foundation is more solid this time around. So let's clarify these cards, um, Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So the Ace of Cups is again showing a desire for a new beginning in love. Um, this person, they still have a lot of feelings for you, a lot of emotions towards you, um, with the Page of Cups being there as well. It's like this person sees you as the one for them. Um, this is someone who um, would rather work on this connection. This person doesn't want to go and start with someone new or start over with someone else. They're very focused on you making this work rather than, um, you know, trying to find something else. They believe that this is a relationship that can be repaired. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands, Fire Energy. We have the Judgment card, Scorpio Energy, and we have the Hierophant again, Taurus Energy. So definitely this person, they want to take a more mature approach towards this, this time around. Um, with the Queen of Wands, there is again, this person, they heavily desire you. They see you as very attractive. They see you as one of a kind. You're very unique to them. And there's this energy of them seeing you as someone who can't be replaced. Um, you are this person's ideal person. With that Page of Cups, it's like you're the person 
person of their dreams. You're someone who, you know, you're everything that they want in a person. So they wouldn't want to replace you. Um, with the judgment card being here, there's again that energy of second chance. Um, this person is looking at that tower moment as having had been almost like a blessing in disguise. It, it was a breakthrough because now that the tower has occurred, um, you guys can start again and this time it can be more resilient. So there is this desire to have a second chance. This person has also become more aware of their um, areas that they need to improve on. So this tower moment has really shown them what they need to work on. It's been a lesson for them and it's also in many ways it's it's encouraged some sort of growth in them, some sort of maturing in them. And this, this is someone who feels confident that um, this time around, if we try again, um, it would be more successful because they, they've learned from that um, tower moment. Um, but there is this energy of wanting to surrender to this connection as well from this person. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Virgo. So the card says your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. So there's again that energy of to this person, this is a test. This isn't something that they want to, you know, give up on, let go of or move on from. They see it as something that you guys can overcome. Um, they do see it as a test of the resiliency of the relationship. And they do believe that um, you guys can come back stronger. So I'm going to pull out another card for you, um, Virgo. So the card says past life relationship you have known each other before so this person they do feel some sort of spiritual connection to you we have the hierophant showing up here twice as well as that judgment card so there is um some sort of lesson it's this can be quite a karmic kind of energy as well so this this connection has in, in many ways um, this person is viewing it as a situation that has evolved them or changed them in some ways. It's like it's a karmic experience to them. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Virgo. Okay, so the card says honeysuckle. Domestic happiness and devoted affection. I will win thee in my arms. So doth the wood bind, the honeysuckle gently in twist. So this person, they see you as someone that they could have a family with, have a successful home life with. They may be wanting here with you something more traditional because we also have the hierophant and we have this domestic happiness. So this is someone who does see themselves settling down with you, having some sort of a happy home life, stability, a family even with you. Um, they do feel that you guys are meant to be. There's this um, inner knowing or it's, it's on a spiritual level this person feels like um, you are you guys have some sort of um, higher purpose in each other's life that's like fated to them so that's what I'm seeing for you Virgo I hope you have a really really good day Virgo bye Virgo